Welcome Tauruses and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 11th of July through to Sunday the 17th of, of July 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Oh well this card wanted to come out didn't it? Oh, it's up to you. I feel that you're being up. It's up to you to detoxify your thinking with regards to this situation. And I feel that if you do, many of you are going to be pleasantly surprised. What I'm channeling is whatever your situation is with regards to love or another aspect um, of um, your life, uh, the situation's going to improve. But you know what, Tauruses, it feels as if it's you're being guided to um uh change your thinking yeah Des detoxify and look at that and ask for help so with regards to a a, a a love connection i feel that many of you uh you want to be with somebody either a new person or you want to be with somebody that has caught your eye or somebody that you know but it's up to you if that is the vision of you and this person being together if that is your vision for um yourself and them you're being guided to trust that to trust that um because there's something that is gonna i'm i'm getting that there's something that's gonna change the dynamic and i feel that for many of you it's through decluttering your mindset with regards to this Tauruses we are coming into a full moon on the 13th of July I feel that many of you are being guided to really pay attention to that um, because you may get signs synchronicities uh, basically get an enlightened get an enlightened viewpoint okay that the ball really is in your court I also, <coughs> I also feel this, that this angel here is looking, pointing, smiling. I feel as if many of you, uh, you and this person, I feel that you're part of the, um, like same soul tribe or same kind of star seed family. I feel that this person loves you. They want you to take action towards them. Okay. Um, because I feel that they do see victory with you. And it almost feels as if it's it's weird because this image here, I almost like see it as them, male or female, like really kind of like jovial, jovial, playful. Like, you know what? It's almost like, you know what, um, Taurus is? Like, you're such a peanut. Of course, we're supposed to be together, like, but it's up to you. It's up to you to change your thinking. Maybe you're overthinking it. But the vision, I feel that many of you, you have this vision of you and this person together. Hold on to that. Trust that. There is change coming, which I feel that Mother Earth, with the amount of Earth in your cards, I feel that you're going to be cradled um, through this change. Uh, the situation is going to um, uh, improve I feel I feel that you're going to get some sort of clarity particularly around the 13th of July when this um, full moon comes in uh, I feel that they do want to clear some stuff up with you they're probably observing you from a distance thinking come on Taurus it's up to you it's up to you if you want this connection, I'm all in. But it's like they want you to take action towards them, all right? And look at, oh, look, yes. <laughs> There's something better. There is something better than what you are thinking and what your perception is at the moment. So ask for help, yeah? Ask Divine Spirit Universe, your higher self, for that help. Many of you ask for your um, your support network, your confidants, your friends, family. It's almost as if, um, Tauruses, you're stuck in a rut. You may have a lot of um, thoughts about this connection. Will you? Won't you? Will they? Won't they? Your spirit team is saying there's something it, there's something better than what you are thinking at the moment. So detoxify, 
declutter. Some of you, it may require for you to um, reconnect with uh, yourself, divine spirit universe, particularly Mother Earth. I'm getting Mother Earth in quite um, strongly. Ooh, maybe if you are part of the same kind of star seed family soul tribe, maybe you came to Earth together. But it's like this person has clocked it. They're saying it's up to you. It's like maybe you made this soul contract to enter this earth together. Hmm, I wonder if it's a twin flame. Yeah, there's something better that's going to blossom. But it's like you're being guided to de declutter your thinking. Like raise your vibration. Yeah. The vision, the dream that you have of being in union with this person. Hold on to that. Yeah, look, can't make it up. Your life is a canvas, artist, manifestation, creative accountability. You can paint the picture that you want with this person. But right now, your headspace is, it needs decluttering big time. But you know what? In all honesty, there must be a reason for that. But I feel that you're being guided, that there, there, there is something better than decluttering overthinking and i feel that that full moon is going to illuminate that to you well we've got a few cards for you oh look D look do you know what right i'm not even making this up didn't i say that the two of you may have come down together if you're part of the same starseed family look at that the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts I believe, all right, I, I'm not mucking around because when, when, with, with this channeling business now because these cards and these readings are just like on point. And I was kind of saying it a little bit in jest. And those of you that know me, what pops out of my mouth, it comes out for a reason. The two of you um, came from, um, uh, I would say the two of you are definitely star seeds, okay? Um, and part of your purpose is to raise the vibration of positivity, of peace, of love um, um, on Mother Earth. That's why Mother Earth was coming up in my channeled message, in my channeling, the channeling messages that I was getting. The two of you have got a purpose to paint a different picture on Mother's Earth because there's something better for all of us. Woo! Your golden children, you came down together. And that's why I'm getting this kind of really cheeky, chappy, cheeky, girly kind of energy. Like, they're like looking at you thinking, come on, Taurus. Like, remember, remember, like, you know, of course we're going to be together. We came here together. We'll leave together, you know. But it's up to you to remember. It's like they're, it's like you're, it's like they're trying to let you know that your soul is like your, your, your soul is trying to urge you, nudge you to remember this connection. Because it almost feels as if in your minds, either two of you are already together. It's because you, you came here together. And your candle's just gone out. Let me just pause for a moment. Let me just change your candle. Okay, so Taurus says, got a fresh new candle for you. New beginnings, okay? New beginnings. So the next card that you've got is loosen your grip, coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. So many of you, it really, you really are being guided to detoxify your thinking. Maybe of you, may, many of you may be um, so caught up in your mind um, about this connection that you may have turned to I don't know, maybe not looking after yourself too, too, too well, um, or, you know, maybe turn to a bit of drink or, um, overeating, not exercising as much because you're being like, it's, it's almost as if you're like, you're confused. The connection is definitely divinely guided and you're being guided to let divine in, let Mother Earth cradle you because your job, your purpose, you and this person definitely came from a star seed, the same star seed cluster. I was 
channeling um, soul tribe, okay? I suppose technically it's roughly the same thing, but we are using starseed cards. So that tells me that you're from the same starseed family and you came here together. You are part of that arc of the golden children. Your purpose here on earth is to raise the vibration of love, peace and light um, on Mother Earth. And that's why she's here to cradle you. She's saying that there's 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 something better for our planet, for our Earth. But there's also something better than your thinking at the moment. You, If you change that dial, okay, change your thinking, you will see that actually this connection is 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 ready to blossom. And look, yeah, so loosen your grip of overthinking and look at the bigger picture. Pallades energy, so maybe that is your starseed family, the Pallades. Visionary inspired ideas. You're being guided to be inspired to walk through that portal and paint the picture that you want with this person. But also I'm picking up that you're being guided to... Um, Trust the connection that you both may have came from another portal here on earth, okay, to do something together, all right? But it's up to you to loosen your grip of um, cluttered thinking, all right? And also to um, loosen your grip on... Whatever it is that's preventing you from taking action to see this connection in the positivity and jovialness, jovialness that I'm picking up. I'm feeling that this person is really jovial, like they may be like a, a ray of sunshine, you know, somebody that's really positive and upbeat. They see victory with you. I feel that they want to be around you. They want to celebrate this connection because you are their happiness. You are their ray of sunshine. And it almost feels on a soul level. They're wanting you to remember that you both came here together. Deep. All right, Tauruses, if this message is resonating for you already... Please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to... Well, there we go. I don't know what's going on with the cards. Um, it really does help to push this video out to other Tauruses. It also enables you to get those um, notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of um, this week's reading. If my cards would shuffle. All right, let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love. Week commencing Monday the 11th of July through to Sunday the 17th of July 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for their highest good? And... the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you all right let's see what's going on <clears throat> Ooh, look these cards are just like throwing themselves out well these wanted to come out and these wanted oh gosh 
okay so look the nine of cups this person is your happiness okay um sorry this person you are their happiness uh, i feel that the vision that you see you and this person together they see it too i feel that you're being guided to ask for help because your thinking at the moment is toxic and it may be affecting the connection affecting this person it's almost as if like can't you remember we came here together we've got a life purpose and you not remembering that we are here to create something better for mother earth it's almost as if there's a tower moment it's like are you both going to be able to fulfill your purpose of what you uh, uh, agreed to, to, to come down onto earth and experience together, all right? Uh, I feel that this person wants you to take action, yeah, towards them to improve this situation. And again, you're being guided that you can paint this picture that you want, all right? Particularly if you've been manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying for this person, it's because your soul recognizes them. And there is the king of pentacles. So I feel as if a uh, Taurus is male or female. This is your energy. It feels as if either you turned your back on this connection and they want to reconcile. They're kind of saying, look, it's up to you. You feel this bond. You know this bond. So why are you thinking about it negatively? And then we've got the Knight of Swords. I feel that many of you either... So you, you pulled your energy back. So it's definitely somebody that you know. And I also feel that many of you do want to rush in and, and speak your truth. There's something I feel that you want to get off your chest. Uh, but you're feeling a little bit anxious, uncertain whether you should do that. I feel whoever you are connecting with, I, they recognise that communication with you is a bit of a battlefield. I feel that they, with the three swords that they're holding, they're quite heartbroken. They look, you walked away. You walked away from the connection and it really um, devastated them because you are their happiness. I would say that um, they were heartbroken with the three swords. Communication is a real challenge for the two of you. Yeah. This person felt that you walked away from them, but mm, it's more on their side. So either they walked, <coughs> they walked away from you and they've got regret. But in turn, you may have walked away and that's possibly why you want to rush in and say something, get something off your chest. There's a conversation that you want to have, but many of you are guarded and you are trying to control your emotions right now. But your thinking, I feel, is, um, yeah, you need to declutter. You also could be dealing with an Aries or you could have Aries in your chart. This person was devastated. It feels as if this person didn't have a choice to walk away. So it's either you pulled your energy back and they walked away or you walked away um, or uh, they walked away and you pulled your energy back. Whatever it was, this person feels that communication with you is um, a bit of a nightmare. All right. And I feel that the separation of the two of you, it hurt them. Yeah, look. The four of uh, wands. This person sees you as long-term commitment, marriage. Again, Aries popping up here strongly. This person sees a future with you. And they want to clear up why the two of you, you know, pulled apart from each other. Let's continue. Many of you, you're being guided to loosen your grip because you're really controlling your emotions right now. It's like you're not seeing the bigger picture because it feels as if you're still angry, you're still upset. But they're saying there's something better than upset anger. And with the uh, nine of pentacles in reverse, I would say that whoever you're connecting with, uh, they are somebody that is... I would say quite wise, quite spiritual, okay? Uh, I would say that they have quite um, a comfortable environment. 
um you know they they don't want for anything okay so if they're holding nine cups and they've got nine pentacles uh you are their tenth cup basically because they see long-term commitment marriage with you with the nine of coins in reverse this person feels that there is a real major setback and why and that's why it's up to you to make that change to take that action towards them so that they can clear something up with you but i also feel that they um are not sure whether or not they have lost you yeah let's continue thank you and yeah this person uh, i wants to speak their truth all right so they definitely want to clear something up with you i feel that they will they may have been uh like i say heartbroken devastated how this connection panned out but it feels as if they're going to be victorious to speak their truth because they've had time to reflect i feel about what happened it almost felt like one of you walked away from the other and it triggered the other one to walk away it feels like it might have been them and it feels as if they may have walked away because communication was a real battlefield with you but for many of you i feel that you're still angry you can paint a different picture that's what you're being guided to um to do to take that action to paint a different picture because the two of you are a lot more connected um possibly then um maybe even either one of you realize all right i think they might realize it because they're saying it's up to you in a jovial way yeah this person wants to talk Look, both of you were wounded. Both of you are coming up with the Nine of Wands. So both of you, um, this was a battlefield. Both of you were equally wounded. And I would say that both of you are equally guarded. But I feel that there will be victory if this person speaks their truth. Because look, you've got that one sword, the five swords. That's the six of swords. They want to put this all behind them and move forward. They may see that you're guarded. Look, you're looking back kind of like, mm, not sure. Or they themselves could be quite guarded. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you clarify? Thank you. Well, look at that. This per I can't make it up. This person sees victory, abundance, prosperity, happiness, everything with you, with that sun card. But you've got a choice to make. Aries and Leo popping out. You've got a choice to make what action to take. And I feel with that moon coming up here, it will be during that full moon on the 13th that you'll be enlightened what direction to take. And I feel that the uh, direction that you take will be abundant look at that there's two suns coming out here thank you and yeah look at that you're going to want a new beginning but i feel that many of you uh you want to get something off your chest however as this full moon comes in you may uh um like detoxify basically your thinking and let it go because it's making you really unbalanced and you may then just want to rush in and initiate a new beginning basically taking that leap of faith and painting that picture because feeling the way that you feel harboring anger frustration your spirit team are saying there's a better way to deal with this Let's continue. So you want that leap of faith. You want to take that leap of faith. Right now, you're unsure whether or not to take that direction. By the end of the week, I feel that you guys will get a little bit more clarity for sure. If this person walked away from you, many of you may have been jealous thinking that they had somebody else. They didn't. It's because they felt that communication with you was a battlefield. Oh, look. Yeah. And look at what comes out. The jealous card. You're being guided to fight 
um, and detoxify jealous thinking, basically. I mean, it could, it could mean that there are jealous people around you. That's the green-eyed monster. But I feel, as I literally just said, many of you may have felt jealous because you thought they walked away from you because they had someone else. And that card then came out that tells me it was you. And that is what you need to detoxify. With the world card, you have the opportunity to create a new cycle with this person. This is all about change. Changing your thinking, detoxifying any kind of jealousy, any kind of anger, upset, and just take the leap of faith for a new beginning with this person. Could be dealing with Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, all right? And as you do that, the cycle changes, yeah? A new beginning is triggered. And yeah, for many of you with the Page of Cups, um, either... Uh, you will apologise to this person for your thinking, for your lack of communication, poor communication of what you want in this connection. Um, or you will offer some sort of like um, token of love, you know, a small token to give them the green light that you want to you want to take that leap of faith with them. All right. Let's continue. Thank you. Yeah, this person's real sad. Real sad. Uh, can we see all of that? Just about. Yeah. This person is real sad, really disappointed. And right now they're just trying to be patient. Keep their emotions in check. Be patient with the situation. Because I feel that they know that there's a delay. That it's, it's up to you. There is a delay. But there's also a side of them that's like they're not sure whether or not they've like lost you. So they're trying to be patient, balancing out their emotions, trying not to think the worst of the situation. Uh, again, look, we could be dealing with, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, uh, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Any of those signs could be coming um, in your chart or their chart. Let's continue. Thank you. Wow, look at that. This person was really devastated. To walk, walk away from you was devastated for them because you responded by walking away from them too. If it is the reverse way, this person was absolutely devastated. But I feel that they don't realise that it affected you too, yeah? This person's been in healing, all right, to balance out their emotions. We've got temperance, which is all about patience and balance. The Four of Swords and the Three of Swords. Um, notice the Libra symbols. They've been trying to balance out their emotions. Move away from the hurt. And I think they've come out the other end. Because like I said, this person looks really jovial. Like they've got that ray of sunshine back in their heart, in their life. And now they're saying it's, it's really up to you what you want to do. And look, you're being guided to make wise choices with the Hermit. Virgo, uh, you could have Virgo in your chart. They could have Virgo in their chart. Make wise choices to have this conversation. I feel that you're being guided that there's something better than lashing out. Changing your mindset. Um, detoxifying from any kind of um, jealousy, frustration, anger. Let it all go. Make wise choices when it comes to this conversation. That's the direction they definitely want you to uh, go in. To, go in uh, your, your spirit team, I would say, them in terms of the message coming for you. Coming in for you, sorry. My, oh, thank you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the king and queen of coins. If you uh, take that leap of faith, uh, remove any kind of jealous, jealousy because if you felt this person walked away with you because uh, they uh, they found somebody else I don't think they did I feel that they walked away because it, it was just becoming too hard like you know you're not the greatest of communicators is what the cards are saying but look uh, the two of you can come into union you're being guided okay to focus on that 
The two of you are ready for long-term commitment marriage. Many of you may have been married in past lives, but you came here on that wave from that star seed family, um, from the Pilates, Pilates, whatever, Pilates, I can't even pronounce it. Um, uh, you came on that same star, you're part of that same star seed cluster. And notice the king and queen are earth signs, all right? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You're, you're both connected to Mother Earth. So Mother Earth is going to cradle you through this change. But you and this person are divine counterparts. You are divine counterparts. And you're side by side. So that tells me that you're thinking of this union. Hold on to that vision, all right? Hold on this card when it's come out. There's the conversation. I feel that many of you, you're being guided to give. Give an apology or give a token or green light that you're open to talk. And one more, please. But yeah, there is a serious conversation. But this person was proper distressed. Yeah, look, uh, with the four of coins, uh, you will see it's going to be reflected back at you. Uh, that they don't want to let you go, all right? But neither do you want to let them go. This person is in your heart, in your mind. You can't stop thinking about them, the situation. And that is, you're trying to control that emotion. They're saying loosen the grip because it's almost having a negative effect on you. You know, you could be turning to drink or overeating, not looking after yourself because you're trying to, push down thinking about this person yeah also could be dealing with a cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart let's get some advice for you my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice for taurus sun moon rising and venus in love for week commencing monday the 11th of july through to sunday the 17th of july 2022 thank you yeah guys there we go surrender to surrender surrender your need to control the outcome didn't i say you're trying to control your emotions with that emperor there surrender your need to control the outcome just be with life in this present moment you're thinking about this person you're thinking about the union Many of you might even be seeing this person as long-term commitment marriage. Ask your spirit team for help and guidance and stay focused on the vision that you have for you and this person coming into union and then take that leap of faith. All right. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. But this person looks like they've gone through the ringer, boy, with their emotions. And actually, do you know what? Kudos to them because I was picking up that that energy is this real jovial um, uh, soul. Somebody that's very bright, radiant. You know, they are somebody people are drawn to. It's like their light has come back over whatever happens between the two of you. You walking away, they walking away which then triggered the other to walk away. It almost seems um, like it doesn't matter because I feel that the two of you have got the same vision for this connection and you're being guided that you, you can paint the picture that you want. Look at the bigger picture, all right? Look at the bigger picture of the union, of the happiness, of the abundance. You're being guided. There's something better than what you're thinking and feeling right now. Detoxify and surrender. Be in the present moment. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, thank you. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Advancement. A, look at, I can't make it up. A strong energy is propelling you forwards. Follow the stirrings of your heart. And this is this deep connection that the two of you have got, all right? But it is also your spirit team saying, look, there's, there's better than what you're thinking. 
they're trying to nudge you it's up to you hold on to the vision of this union and then earth guides look at that can't even make it up didn't you guys came together your purpose is to raise the vibration of mother earth and look your sacred calling upon this planet is to simply love and be loved because you are an earth guide you're, you're you're a golden child if you don't know what the golden children are about check it out on google there's a lot of information about the arc um uh, of which the golden children um are sent down to earth to 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 heal to heal mother earth uh you are part of that uh wave of that golden children and also as well what your work that you do okay to raise the vibration what you're technically doing um Taurus is, is you are paving the way for the next round of golden children so the generations after you okay your younger brothers sisters cousins nieces nephews you are paving the way okay so that they can pick up the mantle to raise the vibration of uh mother earth all right and look just so that we are 100 percent certain you are both star seeds here very clearly and your job is to raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light i cannot make this up You are a guide for the next round of golden children coming and your job is to raise the vibration. So there's a bigger purpose for you in this person. You're so beginning being guided to see the bigger picture here because this is almost like um, greater than the connection itself. But maybe the two of you support each other, help each other, guide each other. Maybe the relationship will demonstrate to others around you carnally, okay? From a carnal point of view, your relationship will be radiant. You will be showing people how to love, how to treat one another, how to be in a healthy relationship. So that's why the two of you perhaps came here together. It's going to be different for all of you. But how you live your life is how you raise the vibration of Mother Earth and guide the next generations to pick up that mantle, all right? I'm gonna leave that there for you, um, uh, Tauruses. It kind of went off into a bit of a direction, a spiritual starseed direction. Um, but if it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Um, uh, sorry, there's just something distracting me. Uh, Please click that thumbs up button on the video if you haven't done so already. Um, and yeah, until next time, Tauruses, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. There's just a van that's outside that's just done a, a, a ma an amazing turn around the corner. Anyway, let me just shut up. Um, let me leave that there for you, Tauruses. Sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.